All right, ladies and gentlemen, skillet back to you with some more X4. We, well, let's reevaluate, shall we? Um, please do like, subscribe. There's more uh, X4 coming in. Uh, we do have some other things going on as well. Um, probably going to revisit Cyberpunk. Uh, we still got No Shot Sundays on Sunday. Uh, and then Monday's a little hit and miss right now. Um, but let's reevaluate where we decided or what the plan's going to be, right? So this is NMS Zura, where the head of the Talati sit. Now there have been, no, oh, still, two Ks just circling this thing. Just absolute circling. Along with these two Ks, there has been a lot more of a Xenon presence, which I've kind of discovered. Uh, a little by accident, I was uh, trying to help the station at one point in our Dragon, uh, which I'm placing satellites around just so I can get an idea of what's going on uh, within the sector. Uh, but I have also been trying to discover what else is going on, possibly with some other um, split places. Uh, so over here with Family Tkur, um we've got the defense platform here, which is still being built. Uh, they haven't. Oh, they have taken down a defense platform, and there was a station here, uh, which is now gone. They are now pl placing a solar power plant, a defense station that's still there. They lost their station that's here. And our overarching goal is to take Matrix 451 and Matrix 9, specifically this shipyard. But we have, we have come to a point where, as we said in the last video, it's time for the Odysseus. Yes, we have gotten to that point. This is six million. Oh, we also completed that contract for the station in split space that gave us eight million credits to work with. So what we're going to do here is we are going... Oh, is it marginally different? I think it's marginally different. Entering Ooh. system. Profit Center Alpha. Entering we'll take that one. Bright promise. We're not going to... Should we do shields? We're going to go for Tolati shields. So I don't think we're going to do shields. No shields. The main guns, which those look like... Heat sink or recoil or whatever. Um, they look massive guns. And we will need defense drone. We'll do one more defense drone. And then we will have a captain. 22, 22. Have one more. Uh, do we need... Let's take one more marine. And they can build this. No problem. 12 million. Not a big deal. We've got 63 million right now. And what am I missing? Oh. Docking, flight assistance, long term, long range scanner. There we go. All right. We're going to add this to the shopping cart. We've just now confirmed an order for an Odysseus. Where are we right now in the little dragon? Ooh, yes, we'll be able to take a look Greetings. at our Odysseus being built, which is going to be right over here. Let's zoom in, I think. Right here. This is it. This is the beginning of that plan. This is where we're going to start. The Odysseus.
this is going to be this is phase one uh, now what we're going to go for next is totally going to be dragons rattlesnakes I'm sorry not dragons rattlesnakes because I want that firepower so this baby will be well once we get this kitted out uh, we are going to go take it to go get um, Talati shields. Everything Talati shields. And then we are going to... My ship is moving, right? It was. Um, then we're going to go to uh, split space. Go for split weapons. And we are going to have ourselves a very formidable... Very formidable destroyer. So the kit that we're going to be doing. Let's just break this down, right? So we have the large Odysseus Vanguard. We are going to have split all round. We're going to trade out those engines. We have the Mark II. Um, oh, this does not tell me about Talati shields. That. Then we are going to the large. What were we going to do down here? I think we're going to do beam. Plasma. Got a plasma up front. We will do plasma. Because what will happen is... We will be able to take on large targets. For right now, that's what we're going to go do, right? We, I will test this on a station. More likely, um, the... We'll do beams here. Uh, more likely, a, a, a solar power plant uh, for the Xenon. On the sides, we were going to be doing pulse just because i want the range for the pulse right you get enough pulse and they are pretty devastating um but their range is a lot better than the bolt so and they're a lot more accurate than bolt anyway i mean we could do um beam but i mean i could have beam and our pulse. Now I'll stick with the pulse because the pulse. Because if they start tracking two different targets, I just yeah I don't want that. For the front now we've got the main. Got the main guns. We got the plasma. What we can. We can go plasma here as well, just to give a little more firepower towards the, the bow end of the ship. And then on the bottom, we can do the same thing. And in the rear, we'll do the, the pulse again. Just because I, I I like that range, and again, if you get enough pulse, they are they can be pretty pretty devastating. Um, I mean, xenon aren't that great shield wise. I mean, you can put, um, I mean, what two medium pulses on a on a fighter is pretty good. And then when I have the beam in the back for any crew uh, corvettes or anything like that, and then the shields, and then the Two small decks and then a medium deck. Medium deck is really kind of why we're going for this, right? I can put uh, Minotaurs, um, Cerberus. Um, we can do a lot of, even dragons. We can have dragons on here and have a, a wing of those. We have... We have possibilities with this ship. And it's not just possibilities, because what Teddy say? Teddy Roosevelt. 
He said, speak softly, carry a big stick. This is basically going to be that big stick, right? Because what? You can go get a carrier. A carrier can have, uh, you know, medium ships. But you don't have another destroyer out there that can actually hold a medium. Let's actually find that out. I don't think there is another destroyer that can hold mediums. Uh, behemoth. Nope. Small. Phoenix, we're just going to do um, the Vanguard version. The Sentinel version shouldn't be any different. Let's find out. Yeah, no. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So yeah, so we got the Behemoth, the Odysseus, the Phoenix, the Rattlesnake. And the Rattlesnake is going to be our gun. We've got four main guns here. We've got four... four frontal turrets along with the four main guns and then we have an additional eight medium turrets this is a beast these are going to be the point and shoot of the fleet right we can we can actually spec out we can spec out the Odysseus to just for carrier purposes, really. Let's change let's change this out, right? We got that. Let's say, let's say we just want to go. We'll keep the plasma as the as the main forward. Just to be an addition to the main main armaments. Let's go back here. So here we can keep plasma here too, really. I mean, why not? I don't see a reason why to change that. Um, and the turret in the back is going to be that beam. So let's go here, right? So pulse, pulse. Here we go. Pulse, pulse. So pulse, pulse. So the only things that we're really going to change. Because the bigger ships that we're going to go up against, we're going to keep to the front. Or if we do get flanked or we, you know, fly past, we'll have, we'll have the beam and then we'll have the plasma. I really think that that's fine. Even if I kick that out this way, we're still going to be gold. It's just... The medium turrets that change, right? Which plasma is going to be slow anyway. So the medium turrets we can just keep keep as the pulse and use the big stuff for the bigger ships. This is this is our starting point. We are creating our big stick. This is going to be it. This is number one. No criminal. Oh, no criminal. Ugh, criminal. So we're already at um, reputation of 20 with these Civilian people. Civilian ship B. Um, which I think we can get a little higher. I'm not in the slightest bit impressed. Container. Oh, it's done. That was actually Odysseus pretty fast. Vanguard. I think that was fast. Oh, we didn't actually really have a lot to it, right? God, this thing's going to be so slow, though. Let's actually check it out, right? Got our engines. Oh my gosh. Thanks for your help. Here's a little salt in his thanks. Oh, I got 15,000. Yeah, this is. 
this ship. Now, Parented ships, I think, are like the more Thanks for your help. kind of. Oh, I've got fifteen, and I got five hundred. That's cool. Thanks, bro. Um, are like the more mainstream kind of like nowadays. That's what an alien ship's gonna look like, right? Actually, with these designs on it, um, kind of reminds me of like Stargate SG One, right? With the uh. What is their little worms that sat inside people? I forget their names. Let's docking granted. Let's docking. So this can hold ten mediums, or uh, yeah, ten corvettes basically, or medium ships. I don't, I don't want to be like, where does it hold these? Uh, where does it Hello. hold these ten ships? Dragon Raider. Because let's be honest, does it look big enough? Maybe this is one of those things that we just don't don't discuss. Oh my gosh, let's run. Let's get. I have not been to the bridge of this yet. I'm actually super kind of excited to see what it looks like. Oh, this, oh my gosh. This is awesome. Oh, this is awesome. I mean, we're missing, we're missing some turrets uh, and armaments. But uh, again, look, look what I was saying. How does that hold ten mediums? It just doesn't make sense. Do they get compressed? Is it space magic? I think it's space magic. Magic. Okay, let's. I want this. Thank you. Let's find out what those. Okay. All right. Um, that's cool. And now we need to go this way. Was that uh the Atlas? Selena I think? Vanguard. Oh, no. oh wow. I did pick up another um, SATA drive, so I kind of want to know how fast I can go now in SATA. I don't know if it tells me. But this ship is pretty slow. This is literally how I'll have to fly a big ship like this. Um... Yeah, this was a. Uh, this is great. Yep, I'm gonna get up now. Uh, we're gonna disable the SATA. We're gonna get up. Oh my gosh, look at this crude. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, we need to give this orders. The Odysseus needs to go here. We're gonna upgrade. We're going to go shields, main shields, shields. We're going to be shielded up, right? Super shielded. Hello. Hello, Paranid. Oh, 
which is down there. So two each. Two. Okay. And then we got the drones. We got the defense drones. Yep. And the shopping list. Shield components. Confirm order. If you tell me it's over here, or these people are just getting demolished at, I am just gonna... I don't even know what I'm gonna say. Old Park Factory. Uh, where else do they have? They have down here. Oh, they're actually putting down their own little station here. Weapon components. That's cool. Time they do something. They're not really all the whatever their name is. I forget their name. The Ministry of Finance hasn't been doing a lot. Okay. Well, we'll let that go, right? We'll go back to the dragon. This is. That's gonna be it. And so, I was thinking, since this can hold ten medium ships and hold forty small, we need to come up with medium ships. Um, what I'm going to base things off of is the Vanguard, because I have more access to Vanguard than I do... I got the Minotaur Sentinel, that's for sure. These can be gunships, really, just... That's what they are, right? Take an eye on to disrupt their shields. For the turrets, we can do a bit of pulse beam. I think it's pulse beam. Yeah, which sets that. And then the other one. I thought I did the ion. Oh no, the ion was right there. Okay. Do that. For what's the uh what's another medium? Ooh, you know what, actually? The Nemesis. We could have a few of these going. I think the Nemesis is actually probably one of the better Corvettes for the Corvette class. It does have boast pretty good firepower. Entering system. So right what we promise. could do is basically what is that number three in the middle? Do the ion and then we can do pulse. We can just pulse this up. And that could, I mean, this can be pretty devastating, right? And then for the turrets, I need a beam pulse. I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter, right? If this is going to be going against... We could have these go up against 
bigger ships. Because at that point, what we can do... We have the Ion. Mark IIs, we can do the Plasma. So I'll have the, the Ion to help with the shields. Um, we have the Pulse to ward off enemy fighters. And then we can have this go after bigger targets. I think that's, that's pretty nice. We could do that. We could do that. That would bring you know, a lot of firepower to the field. Um, I don't know how much this would be. It's the Vanguard. Why don't we find out? My ship. Nemesis. It's gonna be the Paranid for now. be bad ship, right? They need hull parts galore, though. I think I'm gonna, gonna have to do a trading fleet. Oh, we were getting back in this guy. What we can do is actually... I can't be everywhere. Dragon. We can do a trading subscription with them. I don't know about that. Is it worth it? We're going to satellite this up. Oh gosh. That is a lot. They are in here in force. Oh my gosh. They are. Um. Activating travel drive. They were just... Entering system. That and oh, wow. Okay, so we need... We need firepower. I need... I need firepower. Because that... This is concerning to me. The amount of ships that they just had here. Um, which can spill in over to the other ones. Yeah, not a huge fan of that. I'll have you explore that after there. Found, um, found the scale plate down here. But we are... We are in this. That is our destroyer. We're going to do this. That's our goal, right? So phase one is I, I do 
for testing, um, what we'll do is we'll go to NMS Zura. We will take out these stations. Both solar plants and then the uh, defense platform. We will take out those stations. And then, and uh, we will take out stations in split territory. There's only three, basically the same thing that they have in here. Uh, and then we will we will enter we will enter the fray in Matrix Four Five One. Hopefully by that time, we will have, I'm hoping, two dragons and some nemesis. And then there was an update not too long ago uh, allowing battle orders and stuff like that. We will try that out um, for the first time. We are, we are on our way. For phase one. This is it. Phase one. The beginning of the end of the Xenon interference in Matrix 451 and Matrix number nine. Then after that, there are a few other Xenon territories that we can take on. Um, Faulty Logic is one of them. Now, uh, a few videos ago I did mention Faulty Logic. This system is full of mines. I'll have to figure out a way around that. Uh, looks like the Xenon kind of lost Faulty Logic 1. It's no longer outlined in red, showing their dominance. We need to befriend the guy, um, ah, whoever these people are, uh, just so we can get the Sentinel version of everything. But yes, okay, phase one, we're a go. We, we are starting this up. Uh, can I actually purchase? No, all transport ships. Oh, well, we got no Dan, no no Dan. Um, all transport ships. So, Hello. next video, uh, we will be testing out our Odysseus. We will we will take it to Animus Zura. We will go and destroy the Xenon, Xenon Power Plant 3. Xenon Power Plant. We'll go for 3. Um, and hopefully we will have some, uh, some people by our side. Some nemesis. Nemi? Nemesis? 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 Well, however you say it, uh, we will be not there alone. Uh, we will be adding more to a trading fleet. Right now we have two traders in split space. Strictly in split space. What I'm also going to start doing is, oh, I need to, I need to, I might as well just get the trade subscription for these people. Um, what I'll do then is I'll get the trade subscription and I'll start uh, a trading fleet in Paranid territory. And then from Paranid territory, hopefully we can just make some money. Uh, I want to say I'll do Talati. It's actually probably how I can get more rep with the Ministry of Finance, really. If I just start selling with Ministry of Finance in... Yeah, I could do that. Just the Talati. So we'll talk about doing a trading. We can do that first, right? Let's say we can do Grand Exchange. We can do $18 billion, uh, Profit Center Alpha, Bright Promise. There was twin. Actually, well, well, no, there's Xenon there. 
Um, open market, two grand, profit center alpha, bright promise, 18 billion grand exchange. We can actually get a good little trading network going here too. Um, yeah. Okay, there we go. Phase one of Operation Kick Xenon Out. I don't know. We haven't come up with a good name yet. If you guys have a great name, put it in the comments. Um, and then we have how we're going to slowly, methodically grow our rep with trading. I don't think that's a bad idea. Well, that will be it for right now. Uh, the beginning of the end for the Xenon with our lovely new ship. Let's see if we can actually just get an external view. Get rid of the map. I was about to say, that's a box. Oh, that's the wrong thing. But with our lovely, lovely Odysseus. Now I'm back to this. We'll have a dragon, too. He'll be here along the way. But, again, that is Skillet signing off from space. Please do like, subscribe. There's going to be more coming to you. We have a lot of battles to actually start facing. I don't want to go up against uh, eyes. K's are a lot easier. Eyes are just gunned up the wazoo. But we're going to lose some people. We're going to gain some people in ships. But here we go. This is, this is the beginning of the end of the Xeno in Matrix 4, 5, 1, and 9. Very limited end. But again, thank you guys. Hope you guys have a great night, great morning, great afternoon, whenever you watch this. Skillet signing out.